may all be happy sarve may all be free from illness sarve may all see the auspicious truth may no one suffer om peace shanti shanti let there be peace we hoped for all we can do is hope and with this hope we challenge ourselves first and then them to go into the deepest recesses of their hearts and see that deep down inside all of us are in this together he said while walking the length and breadth of india born in 1948 to a muslim family in trivandrum kerala mumtaz ali khan noticed at an early age how prejudiced people belonging to different religions can be towards each other sensing and feeling caged he left his home at the age of 19 and set out towards the himalayas in pursuit of a deeper more spiritual journey after many setbacks along the way he reached the upper himalayan region of badrinath on foot almost as though drawn by a calling it was there he met a teacher and a dear spiritual guide whom he fondly called maheshwar nath baba ji after spending 3 years wandering the himalayas with his master and learning the finer aspects of yoga upanishads and other spiritual scriptures he was instructed to return back to the city and pursue life as a city dweller would according his master he says for spiritual teachings can only be tested through the daily dealings of day-to-day life on returning back on his master's advice he explored various religious and spiritual institutions go to the core he said theories are of no use the list included living with the sufis at the shrine of ajmer sharif enrolling with the ramakrishna mission embracing the devotional song and dance worship methods at the iskon temple and spending 10 years with the philosopher jedu krishnamurti at the krishnamurti foundation after long comparative studies he came to a conclusion that the truth is one it's just that the wise call it by many names quoting vivekananda he says the best way to worship god or a higher power is through service to humanity with this in mind he started the satsang foundation which runs a free school for underprivileged children At the age of 65 he started a peace march called the Walk of Hope. The movement spanned from Kanyakumari, the southernmost tip of the country, to Srinagar, Kashmir in the north. The movement was flagged off on January 12, 2015 at a crossroad called the Zero Point, symbolic to subduing the ego to a zero. Walking has a unique significance in India. It's not just a physical march, but is often used to advocate a cause. Embracing the villager and city dweller alike, the walk visited orphanages, schools, and different places of worship. walking across the multicultural multilinguistic landscape of india traversing through rain and shine tarmac and soil the walk 
met with like-minded peacekeepers, including spending time at the Sabarmati Ashram, the home of Mahatma Gandhi. जो पत्थर फेंकता है, उसे भी गले से लगाना बड़ी मुश्किल की बात है। ये सोच कर हम करना चाहिए। वो कहेंगे अभी प्रैक्टिकल नहीं है। मैं कहता हूँ कि प्रैक्टिकल है। सिर्फ जैसा गांधीजी ने कहा है, ऐसा ही प्रेम और प्यार से हर चीज हो सकती है। Spanning through eleven states of India, the walk initiated dialogue. Debate and discussion amidst all faiths on one platform, promoting peace and interfaith harmony between all religions. The walk also promoted a non violent movement known as a Nirahar Satyagra, which means fasting for a cause, a peaceful yet powerful tool once used by Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> चलिया मेरा नाम चलना मेरा काम हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सबको मेरा सलाम कनेक्टिंग विद ओवर अ मिलियन पीपल पीपल फ्रॉम ऑल रेसेस पीपल फ्रॉम एवरी रिलिजन एंड पीपल फ्रॉम एवरी पॉलिटिकल बैकग्राउंड हमारे साथ हमारे सब भाइयों मुसलमान भाइयों हिंदू भाइयों सब हमारे साथ हैं तो हमें बड़ी खुशी होती है कि मानव एकता का काम अच्छा चल रहा है। The walk was also translated into a research initiative by the UNESCO Center at the Banaras Hindu University. It was here where the International Conference of Peace and Harmony took place. The occasion was graced by Mr. Adam Adiyang. United Nations Secretary General Special Advisor for the Prevention of Genocide. Mr. Dieng also contributed by walking and taking part in the Satyagraha movement held on the banks of the river Ganges. Mumtaz Ali Khan and the walkers who took part in the march were awarded the Peace Prize at the Temple of Understanding. They were also formally invited by the President of India to the Rashtrapati Bhavan to mark the arrival of the walk in the capital city of New Delhi. Through the walk, Mumtaz Ali Khan personally met religious leaders like the Dalai Lama and had audience with Pope Francis. He was also invited to speak to the members of parliament at the parliament house in New Delhi. Marho, Akbar, Antony, ho. Koi bhi ideology ke saath ho. Aita to main Keral se ho. Humare state mein aisi bhi ideology hai jaha bhagawan par vishwaas bhi nahi karte hai. Thik hai. Koi baat nahi. Humanity mein to vishwaas karte hai. Ke hum manav hai. Or hum kisi ko takleef nahi dhe. और सब मिलकर खुशी से रहें इस राष्ट्र में ये तो है मैं लोगों को यही समझाता हूँ इतने हजारों विद्यार्थियों को मिल चुके हैं अब तक उनको ये समझाते हैं ये बीज उनके हृदयों में हम बोते हैं कि हम मानव हैं पहले और फिर हम इस भारत के वासी हैं हम मिलकर रहेंगे कोई भी कहीं से अंदर से या बाहर से कोई भी फोर्स आएगा इसको हम टूटने नहीं देंगे। इकोनॉमी बढ़ सकती है, मगर शांति नहीं है तो उस देश में कुछ नहीं है। शांति सबसे बड़ी चीज है। शांति, सद्भावना और मानव एकता हम मिलकर रहें। अंग्रेजी में कहा जाता है, United we stand, divided we fall। And also met Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India. The walk reached Srinagar, Kashmir. In April 2016, covering over 7,500 kilometers on foot in 474 days. Hello, 
चीजें निकाला है तो क्या बहुत अच्छी चीजें लोगों में एकता बढ़ेगा क्या हिंदू मुस्लिम का एकता बढ़ेगा और कुछ नहीं हमको सबको हिंदुस्तान में एक भाई की तरह लेना चाहिए बस यही हमारा देश है यही हमारा पैमान है पूरे देश के लिए कि हम सबको एक बढ़ के लेना चाहिए और इस तरीके की रैली हिंदू मुसलमान को सबको निकालना चाहिए ये देश हमारा है और हमको सबको एक मिल के कंधे से कंधा मिल के चलना चाहिए सबको बस यही कहेगा मुमताज अली खान और श्री एम एस इज फोनली कॉल्ड इज मैरिड एंड है मदनपली इन साउथ इंडिया As he says my walk is my talk join me in planting the seeds of hope especially amidst the young for it's this hope that tells us some day they will be the ones to challenge their own today and give us a better future awal allah we are made from that truth that and it's the same light that shines in us all for we are all in this together kudrat ke sab